let's start at the back of our mat. Let's take a deep breath, reaching up and stretching back, starting to engage our quads, our back, opening up our heart, our chest. Let's come back up. Deep breath, exhaling over to the right. Inhaling up, exhaling left. Inhaling up. Let's separate our feet so they're about mat width apart. Take a deep breath. And then exhaling down into a gentle squat. Let's inhale back up. And exhaling down again. Down. So as we inhale up, pressing through our feet, through our legs. And then exhaling down, we feel that stretch again up. And exhaling down, let's walk our hands forward. We're coming onto all fours into our tabletop. So we're gonna do some cat cows here. So we'll inhale, looking up, pulling our tailbone up to the sky and then exhaling down into cat pose. Inhaling up, stretching out our spine. And then as we exhale, we're curling our back, pulling our belly button into our spine. So let's do a few more of these. Moving with our breath. Noticing how our back feels today. Do two more breath cycles here. Okay, we're gonna hold it here. Let's reach our right arm up, our left leg up. Okay, so we're coming into our spinal balance. Switching to the other side. Again, noticing how this feels on our back switch. We're alternating and it's always opposite arm to leg. So it does take some coordination, especially the first time we do this. Switch. Switch. Again. So we might start to feel this in our hamstrings, glutes, not just in our back. Okay, let's do one more with our right arm. And one more with our left. Still on all fours, we're gonna open up our hips a bit. So let's take our right leg up with a knee bent. Do some wide circles. Nice and slow. It's like we're drawing a circle in the air with our knee. Okay, same thing, but let's go the opposite direction. Let's bring our leg down. And now taking our left leg up, again, knee bent, wide circles. We're still breathing. Let's try to breathe in through our nose. Okay, opposite direction. Okay, let's take that leg down. We turn our right fingers toward our right knee, nice and gentle, feeling that stretch in our wrist, forearm. Okay, let's do the other side. If we have carpal tunnel, let's be careful of this. As always, tuning into our body. Okay, one more time on our right. This is not about doing things exactly like other people. It's about doing things as our body wants us to do it today. Okay, we're gonna shift our hips over to the right, looking over our left arm. So hopefully this feels nice in the glutes, lower back. 
Okay, let's shift over to the other side now. A couple breaths here. Okay, let's come back. We're gonna shift our hands forward. So now we're in high plank on our knees, the top of a push-up supported by our knees. So we'll come down, bringing our elbows in by our sides so they're by our ribs, pausing in our low plank, and then all the way down. Let's bring our chest up. So we're wor working our back right now. And then let's push up and come back into child's pose just for one breath. Come back up through tabletop into high plank on our knees, pausing down in low plank, all the way down, chest up, and then pushing up and back into child's pose. And one more time, coming on up, shifting forward, Low plank, all the way down, chest up, and then pushing up and back, and let's pause in child's pose for a few breaths here, feeling the stretch. We can even lay our forehead on the mat if that feels good. One more breath. Slowly coming on up. So we'll come through high plank. So high plank is the top of a push up, pressing our palms into the ground, feeling that grounding through the earth, pushing our heels back. So feeling that stretch down at the bottoms of our legs down by our heels. Okay, so it's nice strong abs. And always, whenever we do plank, we wanna make sure that we don't pop our hips up or allow them to fall towards the ground. We can always drop our knees if we want to. So from here, we'll come into downward dog, leaving our hands where they are, leaving our feet where they are, pushing our hips up to the ceiling or the sky, and now let's walk our dog, so bending one knee at a time. So feeling that stretch, our toes are stretching, the arches of our feet are stretching. The tendons down by our heels, our ankles. And of course, we're working our upper body here too. Okay, let's hold our dog still here. And now bending both knees, so our shins are parallel with the floor. We're working our quads here, stretching out our feet, our shins, our calves, working our shoulders. And then slowly walking our feet forward. Let's pause and forward fold. Okay, so no crazy stretching here. Nice gentle, feeling a bit of a stretch in the backs of our legs and our back. We can even bring our hands to our elbows, gently swaying our upper body. And let's release our hands to the floor. So we'll come up now for a half lift, still reaching for the floor, but now straightening out our spine. We can place our hands on our legs, if that helps. Reaching back down into forward fold. And now coming all the way up, pressing through our feet and legs, flat back, so we'll reverse one body, reaching up. Exhaling down into forward fold. Let's step back now into high plank. We'll shift our body forward over our hands, coming down into low plank. Again, bringing our elbows in by our shoulders. We can come onto the tops of our feet, coming up for upward dog, and flipping our feet back down into downward dog. Okay, so we'll do that two more times. 
the flow here. Let's try to move with our breath. So let's bend both knees, pausing for a stretch here. Yeah, let's walk our feet forward into forward fold. And now really beginning the flow, inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling forward fold, inhaling all the way up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, stepping back into high plank. Shifting forward, exhaling low plank. Onto the tops of our feet for upward dog. And exhaling downward dog. Bending both knees. Let's walk our feet forward into forward fold. And now the flow, the last one, inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling, stepping back into high plank. Shifting forward, exhaling low plank. Onto the tops of our feet for upward dog. And then exhaling into downward dog. Yeah, let's take our right leg up into downward dog split. And then bring it forward into warrior one. So we want to have our heels in a line, hips facing forward, bring our victory arms up because we're all winners. Let's reach up and stretch back. And then coming back up, turning into warrior two. So now our hips are facing the side. Nice and nice strong arms here, strong legs. And now reaching down to the right, we can bring our right hand onto our thigh, onto our shin, down by our ankle or the floor, whatever feels right today. Extending our left arm up, feeling that stretch along the left side of our torso, our left shoulder. Breathing into it. Using our quads and our abs, let's come back up into warrior two. And into reverse warrior, bringing our left hand down onto our left leg, reaching our right arm up, our right knee still bent. Breathing into the stretch. Back to warrior two. And windmilling down, step back into high plank. Shifting forward, low plank, and now we'll come back up and into downward dog. Let's take our left leg up, reaching up, and now bringing it forward into warrior one. Again, heels in a line, left leg is bent, right leg extended, arms up into our victory pose. Now stretch up and back. And back up into warrior two. So it's like we're trying to rip our mat into powerful legs here. And now let's stretch to the left, placing our left hand wherever feels comfortable and our leg on the floor. Let's come back up into warrior two, dropping our right arm, reverse warrior. Back to warrior two. And now windmilling down, stepping back into high plank, shifting forward, low plank, back up, and into downward dog. Bend both knees. And then walking our feet forward, we'll come into forward fold. And we're gonna do another flow here. 
Inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling forward fold. Stepping back into high plank. Shifting forward, low plank. Onto the tops of our feet for upward dog. And exhaling downward dog. Let's take our right leg up. And this time we'll bend our knee, opening up our hip, looking under our right arm. And then extending that leg up, back down to downward dog. Let's take it the other way, left leg up. And bending that knee, looking under our left arm. It's almost like we want to bring our left foot toward the right elbow. Let's take that leg up and into downward dog. We're shifting forward into high plank. And then we'll come onto our forearms. So we're in forearm plank. So, like I said earlier, really watching our form. We don't necessarily have to watch it, we can feel it. Do we feel our hips coming down, popping up? See if we can recalibrate. Otherwise, bring our knees down. Breathing. Almost done with this. Let's place our right hand down, then our left coming up into high plank. Back down onto our forearms. Left hand, then right into high plank. Shifting forward, low plank, let's pause here. And then all the way down, good job. All right, let's take a couple of breaths here, relaxing. And now reaching back, we'll bring our right heel into our sit bone. So feeling a stretch in our right quad, we can bring our left arm around so our hand is by our head. Okay, so we can stay there. We can activate our back muscles here raising our right leg, our left arm, our chest. We want to protect our neck so we can keep our neck straight by looking down, maybe at our left hand or the front of our, the top of our mat. Deep breaths here, feeling it in our back. Still stretching, our right shoulder, our right quad. And release. All right, let's bring in our left foot now. Our left heel comes over by our glute. We can bring our right hand over by our head. Okay, so we can stay here or we can bring the back into play by raising our left leg, our right arm, our chest keeping our neck neutral, and of course, breathing. And release. Couple breaths here. Let's bring our hands over by our shoulders. So we're gonna raise our chest into cobra, still neutral neck. We can leave our, hand, our feet on the floor or we can raise them. Still breathing. Okay, lowering our legs if they were up there. And now we'll push up using our hands, seal pose. And then coming back into child's pose. Stretching out our back. We can do some hip circles here or rock our hips, whatever feels good in our lower back. And we're gonna come 
come back up onto all fours now. So we'll do our modified side plank to the right. So we're extending our right leg out, right arm up, our left knee is on the floor. We can raise our right leg if we're up for the balancing here. We're strengthening our hips here, adductors, glutes, back, shoulders, brain. Breathing into it. Let's bring it down. We can go the other way now. So leaving our right knee on the mat, turning to the left, left leg up. Let's bring it down. Okay, let's shift our hips over to the right like we did at the beginning of class, looking over our left arm. Just stretching out that glute a little bit. Now let's go the other way. Breathing into it. Okay, let's come back. We're gonna come onto our forearms. Walk our feet back, back into forearm plank. I know you want more, and I'm giving you what you want. <laughs> okay, a couple of breaths here. If we want to, we can stay there. We can dip our right hip to the floor, gently pull it up using those abs, left hip. Okay, so a few more of these, or, or we can drop our knees, whatever feels right today. One more on each side. Let's pause here. We're gonna drop our right hand, then our left coming up into high plank. Back down onto our forearms. Left hand, then right. And into downward dog, good job. Let's take our right leg up. We're gonna bring it forward into a high lunge, a crescent warrior. So this time my left heel, my back heel is off the mat. A bit more balancing here, victory arms. I'm going to press through the front foot and leg coming up, coming back down again. Five more of these. So we're really strengthening our legs, glutes, hips, shoulders. Okay, this one will be the last up and down. Placing our hands on the mat, we're gonna swing our front leg back into downward dog split. And now we'll bring that leg forward, bringing our right knee between our hands. So we're in the top of a push up and then push it back and up. Again, forward, back. Okay, we're breathing through this, three more. Okay, last one. And bring it down. Let's take our left leg up. And bring it forward again into that Crescent warrior, reaching up. Let's press through the front leg, strengthening. This is really good for you runners out there. Powerfully strengthening those muscles that support our knees, our ankles, our hips. We'll do three more of these. All right, let's reach down now. We're gonna swing that leg back into down dog split. 
bring it forward, back, forward, back, again, one more, into downward dog, bend both knees, breathing, all right, let's walk our feet forward, so we're in forward fold here, if we want to, we can grab our big toes and pull our upper body toward our thighs, feeling And release. Let's walk our feet out so they're about mat width apart. And then bending our knees, let's come into a squat, feeling that stretch in our hips, down by our heels maybe, shins, calves. Okay, we're going to press about halfway up. So pressing through our heels, let's pause here. Coming all the way up, really being intentional with these. Okay, so slowly coming up, feeling every fiber in our muscles working here. And we're still breathing. So we can inhale down, exhale up, if that feels like the right rhythm for us. We can even as we come down, turn our palms upward, and then as we exhale, turn them down. Exhale down as we come up. So just play with it. If your inner thighs are sore tomorrow, it is probably from this move. All right, let's pause at the bottom now. We'll come up a little bit, a little more, slowly come all the way up, deep, deep breaths, and exhaling down, let's pause here, feeling the blood coming back to our head. While we're down here, we're going to twist to the right, so leave your hand on the mat, twisting, feeling stretch in our lower back. Deep breaths. And the other way. And let's bring it back. Okay, let's walk our feet out so they're actually wider than our mat. And then we're gonna bend our knees, coming into a wide squat. So let's pause here, feeling the stretch in our inner thighs. All right, so leaving our legs bent like that, we'll bring our torso up and we're gonna make really strong biceps. And we're gonna feel really stupid. <laughs> That's okay. We'll bring our right elbow to our right knee. And then the other way. Okay, so continuing the so focusing on strong abs and strong biceps. We don't have to focus on strong quads because they already know, right? Deep breaths here as we're doing this. Let's pause in the middle. All right, let's extend our arms out, bringing our torso parallel with the floor. Let's bring our hands to the floor, releasing our head and neck. Okay, let's walk our feet back to the center. Slowly coming all the way up with that reverse swan dive. Deep breath, reaching up. And then 
exhaling our right arm under our left, wrapping our arms, our forearms, bring our palms together or thereabouts, bend our knees. So we can stay here, we can bring it into eagle pose, balancing by bringing our right leg around our left. our left arm under our right, bringing those elbows up, bending both the knees, let's bring our left leg around, and release. Deep breaths. Exhaling down into forward fold. Inhaling to our half lift. Exhaling forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling forward fold. Stepping back into high plank. If we want to here, we can drop our left knee. We're going to take our right leg up. Shifting forward, low plank, high plank, again, up, let's drop that leg and into downward dog. Let's bend both knees. Walking our feet forward into forward fold. Inhaling to our half lift, exhaling forward fold. Inhaling all the way up. Exhaling, forward fold. Stepping back into high plank. And now dropping our right knee if we wish. Left leg up, shifting forward. Down, up, down, up. Dropping that leg into downward dog. Good job. Let's take our right leg up. And bring it forward into a low lunge now. So placing our right foot between our hands. Always keeping our knee over our ankle, not over our toes. So we're going to twist into it. Deep breaths. Turning towards the front leg. Every time we exhale in a twist, we're detoxing. Okay, let's lower that arm, coming onto our back knee. Bring our body up. Palms together, pointing our fingers up, and let's stretch back. Okay, let's come back up. Extending our right leg. We can bring our heart towards it, if that feels good. We're stretching out our right hamstring. You still with me? Okay, let's bring that foot flat. Placing our hands to the inside of it. We can stay here or we can see how it feels towards coming towards our forearms. If you have a block or a phone book, does anyone still have phone books? Um, we can use that as a prop. We can stay down here. We can raise our back knee and make it a more active stretch. Play around with it, see what feels right today. Hmm. From Adele to opera. Okay. All right, so from here, bring our body up and shift our right leg into pigeon pose. Okay, so from here, if it feels good, so we want to keep our balance centered. We don't want to collapse into the cheek. If it feels good, we can fold forward. See how that feels on our IT band, our glute, our back. Really helpful if you have sciatic pain. So let's pause here for a couple breaths.
And then slowly coming on up. Okay, so we'll ease that leg back. Coming through high plank, downward dog. And now let's take our left leg up and bring it forward again into that low lunge. So our foot is between our hands and we can twist to the left. Deep breaths here. Okay, let's lower that arm. We're gonna come onto our back knee, bring our body up, palms together, point your fingers up and stretching back. And then coming back up. Okay, let's extend our left leg now, and again, stretching out the hamstring. Okay, so we can come onto that foot, placing our hands to the inside of it. And again, if we want to, coming onto our forearms or staying up there. We're using a prop. We can leave our right knee on the floor or raise it or toggle between the two. Just noticing what's stretching here. Okay, let's come back up. And shifting our left leg into pigeon. slowly coming on up. Let's bring our back leg around. We'll place our right foot by our left leg. Nice straight back here. We can twist into the raised leg, which in my case is my right leg. It's deep breaths here. Every time I exhale, releasing whatever I don't need. Let's bring it back to the center, right foot now. And by the way, we can always straighten out our bottom leg if that feels better for our form. So right now my right foot is over my left leg and I'm gonna bend forward, bringing my heart towards the ground. And this is a really nice stretch in the glutes. IT band, hamstring, that whole area, lower back. And then coming up, switch legs. Okay, so left foot is by my right thigh, sitting nice and tall and then twisting to the left. And it is not your imagination, there is no music playing right now. Silence can be good too. Let's come back to the front, placing our left foot over by our right thigh. If it feels good, bending forward. Okay. 
what's going on. So we bring the soles of our feet together into butterfly. And then if we want to, we can bring our heart towards our feet. So feeling all the stretching in our hip area, maybe in our lower back, inner thighs. And coming on up. Okay, so let's place our feet flat on the mat now. We're gonna reach forward, we're gonna do one more ab workout. Move, whatever. We're gonna bring our feet up, pause here. Now, if this does not feel good on your low back, don't do it. Okay, we're gonna come down a little bit more. We're still breathing here. We might be shaking like a Polaroid picture, that's a good thing. All right, so I'm gonna turn around, but you're basically gonna come all the way down to the mat, placing our feet flat on the mat, bring our arms alongside our body, and then pushing our hips up into bridge pose. So one last strengthener for our quads, hamstrings, glutes, and back. And releasing down to the mat. Let's take our right foot and bring it onto our left thigh, bringing our knees toward us. And then gently rolling onto our left elbow. So the elbow that's by our foot. And gently roll into that and feel a little bit more of a stretch in our right thigh, especially if we bring our knees in a little bit more. I mean, not our right thigh, our right um, hamstring glute. Let's come back to the center, switch legs. And then if we want to, rolling onto our right elbow, again, pulling our knees in a little more. And then coming back to center, releasing our feet to the floor. Let's bring the soles of our feet together, releasing our knees to the ground, opening up our hips, our last final stretch. Let's extend our legs. Actually, I lied. This is the final stretch. Take a deep breath, reaching our arms up towards the sky and then over our head, stretching out everything from the tips of our fingers to the tips of our toes and everything in between. Feeling alive. Take another deep breath, reaching our arms up, gently lowering them by our sides. So at this point, we can close our eyes if we'd like to and stay here for a few moments. Or still with our eyes closed, we're gonna come into our easy pose. So it's up to you where you would prefer. So relaxing our forehead, cheekbones and jaw bones. Relaxing our shoulders, our upper back. Noticing our breath. Our breath sustains us throughout our life, all day and all night. We don't have to control it, it just happens. So let's take a moment to notice it, maybe even thank it. So at this point, you can stay where you are if you're lying down. 
Or you can come up to your easy pose. Still relaxed, still tuned inward. And then bring our palms together at our heart center. Let's take a moment to thank our body for showing up today. Thanking our body for its strength, its patience, wisdom, resilience, the way it bounces back when we give it what it needs, whether it's rest, healthy food, water, movement, fresh air, playfulness, strength challenge, flexibility. Let's thank our body for being so beautiful inside and out, such a living, breathing, walking, moving miracle. Exactly as it showed up in this moment. And if we'd like to, we can set an intention for ourselves for the rest of the day to pay attention whenever we think of it to how our body feels right now. How does it feel? Is it energized from the workout? Is it saying, I need more sleep? Is it saying, I love green vegetables? So throughout, and also notice, is my heart racing? What is my body telling me? Am I restless? What is my body saying? So just pay attention with curiosity, compassion, releasing judgment. And before we are open our eyes, let's bring to mind somebody, person or an animal, who perhaps today is struggling physically, mentally, emotionally. Maybe they could use a little sprinkling of our energy, of our empowerment of our gratitude, just bringing them to mind right now into our heart. May they be safe. May they be healthy. May they be happy. And may they find the peace that comes through acceptance, forgiveness, especially of ourselves. And surrender to a power something greater than ourselves. Let's take a deep breath. And as we exhale, if we'd like, we can say namaste, peace. Thank you, thanks for showing up today. And remember, all the stuff that we do on the mat, it's a really good thing to practice off the mat. Acceptance, surrender, gratitude. I'm not taking ourselves too seriously. Thank you, guys.